guys and girls. Welcome to my channel, The Abysmal Guitarist. If you like my channel, please like and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. Today I'd like to talk about a few things, especially the mistakes that beginner guitarists make when they start their journey on the guitar. Firstly, don't buy bargain basement. Yes, I know, I know, I know, you said cheap is the way to go. I said cheap, not nasty. There's usually a reason why guitar shops want to get rid of their bargain basement instruments at bargain basement prices. They're usually pretty nasty. If you've got the cash, buy yourself a decent entry level instrument. It's well finished, well set up. If it's not set up properly, Please ask the shop that they set it up for you if they can't at least so they refer you to a luthier that can set it up for you properly. It is estimated that most new guitars stop playing within the first six weeks of them buying an instrument. And there's usually a few reasons, but the two most common ones is usually it is badly set up, it's painful to play the instrument, and um, or very very cheap and it sounds like absolute crap. One hour later. Number two, buy yourself a decent practice amp. Those little practice amps you find in the guitar combos are usually pretty crap. They're usually made with substandard materials, they sound like shit. Spend your time by yourself a decent 5 watt practice amp. You don't need to buy yourself a huge 100 watt Marshall amp. You're only going to practice. You better. One hour later. Number three. Buy yourself decent cables. I know I said cheap. You can get some pretty awesome cables for a pretty good price. Don't go and buy no name brand made in China cables. It's not going to work nice. I can really recommend Curlin cables if you've got the money. Search on a, on a set of Curlin cables. Or if you've really, really got to go over Fender. Fender also makes some pretty decent guitar cables. One hour later. Number four. If you start to get into the whole guitar effects pedal thing, distortion, whatever you want to call it, you don't really need a multi effects unit like. A Boss GT1 or even a cheap streamer fix pedal for that, for, for that matter because they are prohibitively expensive. Now I know I'm going, going to have the piss taken out of me, but that's fine. If you want to start with distortion, buy yourself a little bargain basement Boss DS1. For a lot of people, this is the absolute, absolute lowest that you can go on distortion. Um, you will find them used all over the internet, um, but it can't be a bad pedal because Boss has been continuously been building them since 1979, so it's a decent little pedal. One hour later. Number five, spectrums. A lot of people think that the spectrum doesn't matter, but the thickness of the spectrum actually do matter. Um, you know, plectrums usually work well for rhythm type of work, especially if you have to play some aggressive rhythms. For lead work, I would really, really recommend anything thicker than 0.8 millimeters. I can really, really advertise, it. and although I'm not endorsed by any of those companies, I can really, I can really advertise Steve Weiss signature model plectrum if you want to do some decent lead work. Or you can check out Dunlop Striker. Later. Right, thanks. That is what that is what I'd like to discuss with you today. Thanks for watching. Please like. Please subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. And like we say in Afrikaans, see you later. Cheers.